Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. And in today's episode, it's going to be Kuda Sushi, one of Japan's largest sushi chains. Are you hungry? Let's go eat a whopping amount of sushi. I'm gonna try to break my record for the number of plates that I can eat in one sitting. Yeah, let's do it. It was a 20 minute wait to get into this place and this place is booming. It just opened up. It's only been open for like a week. So the name of the restaurant is Kuda Sushi and it's one of the biggest sushi chains in Japan. One of the top three for sure. And it kind of fits in the bargain sort of classification I would say. Good price for sushi. Anyway, it's my first time here so I'll let you know how it goes. It's a vending machine right there. That's pretty cool. There's Pokemon cards in here. Oh, yeah. Pokemon cards from a vending machine. But what I'm really looking for are some chopsticks. Hmm. It's a bit of a puzzle, isn't it? This has got to be the weirdest table I've ever seen with some hidden doors, compartments. Oh, hello, condiments. This is clever, eh? Condiments, yes. Still don't have any chopsticks. Maybe, maybe. Oh yeah, definitely gonna get some of these. So what do we have here? Uh, looks like some wasabi. Oh yeah, plenty of wasabi to go around. Yeah, it's looking good. Looks like show you here. Green tea powder, let's make some green tea. Definitely gonna do that. So you take a little bit of the green tea powder, like this. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, that's wasabi. No, 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 no. Looks similar. Don't get these two mixed up, guys. Look, that that's a pretty simple mistake to make, right? You can put the wasabi in your tea. Okay, and the typical is two scoops. That's what you do. But I like to go three scoops. And over here to the hot water dispenser. No need to stir it up, it just dissolves in there automatically. And don't forget this stuff, this is the gotti or pickled ginger, gotta have that. It's like three different types to show you. So we're gonna order some drinks first. Drinks and dessert is right here. Not ready for dessert yet. I wonder if they sell cow piss. Huh, cow piss. Looking for the cow piss. Chu Hai Cow Piss, that's the one. How about a cow piss cocktail? Never had that before. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at this. Incoming. Incoming. Get two drinks. I love it how it comes in a little bowl. See? This is how you're going to wind up paying. At the end, I think they're going to count the bowls and the dishes. I think that's how it goes. All right. Cheers. We've got some draft beer right here. I'm not even sure what kind it is. I didn't really even notice when I pushed the button. And this is cow piss cocktail. A cow piss cocktail, it's the first. Mmm. Tastes like I'm out in the pasture somewhere. This is good. So this place is a bit like a train station, the way that they zip in and out the sushi. So down here on the bottom, this would be like the local train line. It moves very slowly. It stops at all the stations. And then up here is the express or bullet trains and these. Don't put your hands inside there because they just zip by. They're going, it's probably about the same speed as the bullet trains, 300 kilometers per hour. They zip by so fast. I'm surprised they don't put like a guard here or something. Yeah. Anyway, whoa, did you see that? Did you see that? Anyway. Whoa. And then of course, if you want, you can just pull off anything here that you see that looks good on the bottom belt. That's, it's a free for all. Any of this is like, you're welcome to just grab it. But up on the top, this is the stuff that you've placed an order for via the order in the menu here. Here we go. 
it looks like a scallop that's partially cooked. So I don't know what's going on with these rings here and the extra plate, but you know what? You just go with it, you know? You never worry about anything in Japan. You just do it and then everything works out in the end. You never get overcharged. It's fair, always. It's a little bit different at every place you go. So don't get too overly excited about how different restaurants do stuff. Enjoy the experience. Let me get some of the pickled ginger going on here. In fact, I'm gonna put that on its own plate here. So I really like this stuff. So for the total meal here, I don't know how many plates I'm gonna eat a sushi, probably 15, maybe 20, I'm not sure, more or less. That's about the right amount right there for me. Yep. And then some wasabi. What's up, what's up, wasabi? It's probably going to be pretty spicy wasabi. I'm going to go with the light show you. Yeah. I'm going to show you. But wait, did I actually show you the show you? Gorgeous looking bottle. You push on the top like that to release it. Yeah, I can show you some more show you. Look at this, huh? You push on the top, look at this. It's got this little inflatable ball on top. You can get just the right amount to come out. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, this is sauce. This is not show you. This is sauce. Sauce is used for like the eel and stuff like that, or like meat products, yeah, so. Scallop sushi from Kuda Sushi. Here we go. It's very raw. Mm -hmm. It's good. What can I say? Oh. Nice texture. I don't really have anything to say about hotate scallop. It's not my favorite. All right, the sea urchin has arrived. Look at that. So typically I like this color better, the orange. It doesn't mean that this is better quality though. It just looks nicer. They're probably gonna taste identical. Let's go for some of the pickled ginger here. Definitely want to neutralize the palate for this. Yep, you want to be able to taste this in its purest form as possible. So, I am going to put some show you on here. Not sauce, show you. About that much. Not too much. A little bit of wasabi. Not too much. And I am not gonna do this in one bite. I'm gonna do this in two bites, so. Because I wanna try the sea urchin by itself. Let's do this. It's okay. I've had better. I've had better. But this is bargain sushi, so. I'll put all the prices down below in the video description so you can check it out. I believe this is $2. And this is a wrap type, so you wrap it up and then down the hat, it's ready. All of it together. Oh! It's got a shiso mint leaf in it. And the nori and the wasabi, it kind of Takes away the whole taste of the sea urchin. Hardly tasted the sea urchin at all. Hmm. Tuna salad right here. This is one of my favorites. Yep, tuna salad. Oh yeah. Absolutely love the tuna salad. Just a little bit of wasabi on here. Yep, this is a good beginner sushi because this is, it's cooked. You know, it's a salad, it's got mayonnaise. It's very easy to digest <laughs> you don't have any rawness factor
Mmm. Tastes exactly like a can of tuna. Mm-hmm. Yep. So a little bit of onions in it too. So nice flavor. Mm. Definitely one of my favorites. Next up we've got Fugu Blowfish. I don't think I've ever seen this at a sushi place before. Fugu. Just one of these, I guess, huh? And this is the Unagi Freshwater Eel. I'm gonna get a couple of those. We're fixing to get some, and this is part of the new merch right here. This is a really nice sweatshirt. In fact, it is getting hot in here. This is a really nice and fluffy sweatshirt. I really like the quality. Yep, it's pretty warm. Yep, and this is it, man. This is the Eric Surf Fix Get Some sweatshirt available in the merch store. There'll be a link right up here. Yep, it's got the sun. It's got the palm trees. And of course, you gotta get some tube rides right here. That's me inside there, right? Way buried inside that tube right there. Yep. Next up is the chu toro, or medium fatty tuna. And this one you can put a lot of wasabi on because it's got fatty content going in for the fatty tuna. Scrumptious. That is on the level. Yes, very nice. Salmon is actually better with no wasabi. That's right, zero wasabi for the salmon is best. Trust me, because if you do this, you're gonna ruin it. Hmm, didn't ruin it. A little bit's okay. Just don't overdo it on the wasabi for sure with the salmon. Yep, here we go. Oh yeah, sea eel time. Look at this nice big chunky piece of unagi or freshwater eel. That's a good piece of fish right there. Yes, sea snake. It's already got the sauce on it, but I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce. I like it tangy. Yeah, you see that? It's a bulldog tangy sauce. No wasabi on this. This is a huge bite of eel right here. One bite, gotta do it. Mm. It's nice and warm, tender, absolutely delicious. Well, it's meat-like, it really is. It does not taste like you're eating a product from the sea. Yeah, that is one of my favorites. Definitely try the unagi freshwater eel, that's the one. Next up is the Ika or squid. I've never actually seen it this yellow before. Usually it's more white than this. And it looks like it's got the ginger on top. And I'll show you, let's just try it as is. I think it's already flavored. Mm. I think I prefer show you better than just the ginger. Yeah, a little bit of saltiness. So this is, it's a bit on the chewy side, but it's also nice and soft too. It's a soft chew. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. A little bit of show you on there. That's the way to eat it. Next up is the poisonous blowfish. Yes, people have died from eating this stuff. Let's go right in. This is really good. It's got the chewiness of crab meat. I like it. Maybe just a little bit to show you. It's kind of, kind of sweet. which is it's coated in something, maybe a light vinegar. 
but yeah, a little bit of show you. Mm. Honestly, this tastes like king crab. This is really good. Blowfish. Mm -hmm. I think we need to take a short little break here to make some more room in the tummy for more. Let's do a little magic intermission. Would you guys like to see a magic trick? Presenting my brand new change purse that I got from a vending machine. That's right, that'll be coming up in a video soon. Yep, I'm really excited about my little Asian change purse. It's got two coins in it. Let me show you. This is an English penny and an American half dollar. All right, two coins. And the only thing you have to remember for this is that there's two coins, okay? That's all you have to remember. There's two coins. This is the most simplest magic trick in the world. Ready? So I'm going to take the English penny first. Okay, and it's going into the change purse. Ready? Into the change purse. Okay. And how many coins have we got left? Should be two, right? Because it's a two coin trick. Well, nope. so here we go. Next, we'll do the American half dollar. All right, half dollar going into the change purse. There it goes. It's in there, right? How many coins? Should be just one, but it's two, because this is magic. Care to see it again? Why not? Let's do it again, slowly. We'll take the half dollar, ready? American half dollar, and into the change purse. It goes. How many coins have we got in here now? Three? Who said three? It's two, it's a two coin trick. One more time, just for good measure. We'll take the English penny, English penny into the change purse. Close up the change purse. How many coins now? What do you guys think? One, two, three, more? Actually, this time there is nothing, nothing. Zilch, just a change bag full of money. Oh yeah, get some. Next up, this is the cooked booty. Almost don't need chopsticks at this point. I could just kind of... It's okay. I should have went with the raw one. I think it's better. It's got this marmalade stuff on top that's kind of funky. And the daikon radish. It is nice and meaty though. This yeah. is the sweet shrimp right here. This is one of my favorites. It's called amaebi in Japanese. And basically you got two options, tail or no tail. I'm gonna do tail. Mm -hmm. And there's a mint leaf underneath there too. A shiso mint leaf. Tasty. I think I would actually prefer it without the shiso mint leaf, but either way. I feel like I want to put my head underneath one of these domes and get a permanent or get a blow dryer or something. Yeah, for my beard. Ladies, what happens underneath those dome things? I've always been curious. So this is called shirako or fish sperm. That's what it is, fish sperm and jelly. It's definitely not my favorite, but you know, when in Rome, you go on a gondola ride. When in Japan, what do you do? You eat fish sperm. It's just, it's on the list. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. We're getting out of control here with the stack. This is way out of control. Definitely going to be putting some wasabi on this guy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Got to do the wasabi. Got to do show you. Uh-huh. Here we go, fish sperm. Fish sperm for the win. Oh yeah, keeps you fertile. Mm. Better than I had expected. Alrighty, the cheddar cheese tempura has arrived. I'm really excited about this one. Here we go. Hmm. It's 
got vinegar on it. The rice has got vinegar on it. Without the vinegar, it'd be amazing. Yeah, cheese and vinegar, sorry. Not feeling it. Shime Saba, this is a good one. It's drenched in vinegar. Yep. Look at how meaty that is. So this is cooked, but it's uh, marinated in a really heavy vinegar. Mm. Very meaty fish. Mm -hmm. Like steak. Steak and vinegar. Mm. This is a beautiful dish right here. It's seared skipjack tuna with yuzu citrus fruit on top. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Love the color. I don't know, the more sushi that you eat, the more that it all just begins to taste alike and very similar. We've already climbed the peak. We're definitely on the descent now for sure. Yeah. This is the Akagai or Arc Shell. This one is the most fishy. I feel like I just got out of the ocean. Very fishy. Next up is a beautiful side dish. Look at the colors on this thing. The patterns, gorgeous. Ta -da. That's a crab claw. And this is chawanmushi, or egg pudding, I believe is the loose English translation. I'm supposed to eat this with a spoon. Gotta go deep into the table for a spoon. Any other goodies in here? No, that's the main event is the crab right there. All right, let's try the pudding first and then we'll eat the crab. Oh, it's mushy. Mushy. It's kind of similar to a, a salty soup. It's very light. Very light. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Not sweet at all. Mm hmm. Going in for the meat. Oh, yes. Ready? Mm. There it is. Grab and putting together in one bite. Perfection. Yep. And it's definitely baby friendly. A baby could eat this. Yep. What do we have here? This is the asari miso shidu or clam miso soup. Look at those clams. Also have some fried tofu in here. Do the tofu first. Spongy, yeah, just like a sponge. If you've ever eaten a sponge, this is it right here. It's an edible sponge. Mm-hmm. Stressing these clams. Miso soup is just fabulous. Got to finish every meal with some miso soup. Every meal. Every traditional meal in Japan, you finish with miso soup. Mm. Oh, that was good. Alrighty, finally we have something other than a fish sushi. 
Yeah, well, we did have the cheddar cheese one, but yeah, this is a, what, fatty pork. Look how fatty it is hanging off there. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm down here. Well, this is really good. He could uh salmon roll. <laughs> These are pretty small balls. I like them a little bit bigger, actually. Not much inside these. Mm -hmm. A little bit of crunch with the cucumber. Mm. Mm. All right, let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, 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 it's interesting because the beer has no name brand on it. It's, it's just the name of the restaurant. So I'm kind of curious to know what type of beer they serve here. It just says draft beer. Look at these delightful Japanese sweets. Yes, this is dessert. Rice cakes. This one looks like maybe a Japanese pear or apple. A grape here. And a beach ball. I'm going to have a beach ball. Yes. It's a beach ball to go with my get some sun, get some beach, get some coconut cocktails, and get some waves. You gotta have a beach ball too. Yeah, it's in the merch store. Hmm, it's missing the Uncle bean paste. No bean paste in here. Straight up pounded rice, that's what it is. It's coffee time. From the Kuda Cafe. They got their own coffee. Meh. Is there anything special about coffee? It came on a conveyor belt, that's special. Yeah. Never had coffee that arrived on a conveyor belt. So that was cool. But it's still just coffee. You be the judge. Pineapple for dessert. Now that's a healthy dessert. Yep, a slice of pineapple. Loving it. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Just the right amount of sweetness and tartness. Mmm. Good stuff. So, on my rating scale between one and six of the Eggheads, first we're going to finish the beer. Cheers to you guys. Today, I think I'm going to go. Where are we going to go? The sushi is middle of the road. It's not the best sushi, but for value, I think it's pretty good. I would definitely recommend this place. So I'm gonna go, let's see how many, one, two, three, how many plates? I'm gonna go uh, four plates, four out of six. That's what it is, four out of six. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We'll see you in the next one. So now we have to wash our own dishes here in the dishwasher. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh look, I think I want something. How's it? Uh, how's it? Lost the first battle. Today, lost again. All right, I'm feeling lucky this time. Can you feel it? Did you feel that luck? That struggle luck? Yep, look at that. Rainbow fish.
Hot toddy, you see? All dead. There we go, here's the prize. Oh, it's like Pokemon Go. This is cool. Oh, 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 we got it. Double winner. What is this first item? It's kind of cool. Oh, it's another one. The same thing. No, it's a different character, but same type of thing. Cool. Collect the whole set. There's five of them. Yeah. Pretty nice. Could as you see, they've got their own goods. They got their own coffee brand. They've got their own beer brand. I'm really curious to know what kind of beer this is. Yep. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.